Today, I'm going to be showing you how to create this simple 2D top-down player controller. With that said, let's jump right in. So the first thing we want to do is we want to set up our player and to do this we're going to start by adding a kinematic body 2D. As a child of that kinematic body 2D we're going to add a sprite and as another child we're going to add a collision shape 2D. Then with our sprite node selected we're going to go down to our assets and select our sprite and drag it into the texture field of our sprite node. In this case I'm using a character sheet and since I'm using a character sheet I want to go into the animations options and then set up the B frames and H frames 2D appropriate number to match my specific character sheet. Obviously you don't have to do this if you're not using the character sheet but if you are you want to set this up to match your character sheet and then I'm just setting up my sprite to use the specific frame I want to use for my character. And then once I'm done with this uh, if I select my collision shape node I can actually create a collision shape for my character. In this case I'm using a capsule shape and then I'm simply resizing it and moving it to better fit my character. You also want to do this to match your specific character. And then I'm just renaming the kinematic body to be player and with player selected I'm clicking on this button to create a script. Then I'm just adding a new folder called player and saving the script into that folder and you can just create click on create to actually create the script and delete the default code and then I'm just adding some variables here for different things such as max speed acceleration and friction and then I'm setting up another variable for the motion so motion is equal to vector 2.0 and then I'm setting up the physics process built-in function and doing pass for now then I want to actually create my own function called get input vector and in this function we want to do var input vector is equal to vector 2.0 then we want to do input vector dot x is equal to input dot get action strength and then I want to actually set up key bindings for this so we want to go into project project settings and then go into the input map then we actually want to name the actions that we're setting up and then once we're done with that we can click on the little plus icon and select key and assign the specific key that we want to use for that and then back on our script we can then do move right minus input dot get action strength move left and then we can click Control D to duplicate that line and then just change move right to move down, move left to move up and then make sure that we change dot X to dot Y and then we want to return input vector dot normalized. Back in our physics process we want to then do var input vector is equal to get input vector and then we want to set up a separate function to apply our movement. So function apply movement if input vector is not equal to vector 2.0 and we actually want to pass our input vector value to this and our delta value as well. Inside the if statement we want to then do motion is equal to motion dot move towards input vector times max speed comma acceleration times delta. And then you can control click on move towards to read up on what it does and you can do the same for the physics process. And then make sure you save your scene and if you run it you won't actually be able to move the character and the reason for this is because we didn't call it in our physics process so we want to do apply movement and then pass our input vector uh, value as well as our delta value to it and then we want to add the line motion is equal to move and slide motion now if we run the scene again we can actually move our character around then uh, we want to add another function in this case to apply friction so function apply friction if input vector is equal to vector 2.0 then we want to do some piece of code before we do that we want to actually pass our input vector and delta values to this and inside the if statement now we want to do motion is equal to motion that move towards vector 2.0 comma friction times delta and it's pretty similar to our apply movement obviously we did change some logic and we want to make sure we call it in our physics process and actually pass the values to it and now we actually have friction in the game and you can tweak these values up here to better suit your game uh, for example you can increase the friction to make, make the character stop faster or you can decrease it to make the character slide more so up to you 
and obviously this is one way of applying movement and friction there's many other ways you can do it for example you can do it in one of these ways here so you can do it with the second way here you can do it using lerp instead of the move towards or you can do it uh, this other way here which uh, a lot of tutorials show you how to do it which is by using if statements and then input that is actions just press move up and then apply the motion that you want to do obviously i'm not going to do it and then you can do the same thing for lerp uh, the friction as well where you can use lerp instead of move towards as well obviously if you're going to use lerp you want to actually change this value here to be between 0 and 1 and now if we run the game it we basically have something that's pretty similar to what we had before so pretty much just depends on which way you prefer of doing things and yeah there's a lot of different ways you can do this and i just changed back uh, my code to what it was and here you go you have your player controller done and yeah, you can find the link to the GitHub project down below in the description, as well as the link to any of the other assets I may have used in this video. And with that said, I hope you found this video to be helpful, and if you liked the video, make sure you leave a like and consider subscribing, and I'll see you guys in the next one.